Good morning, everybody. Let's start the day. So today my day starts at home because we have still have awfully poor internet in the office. So I'm gonna do the girl, let the girls do the stuff, anything they need to do on the internet without me um, taking half the bandwidth. And I'm going to work from home to do the stuff I've got to do. So I usually look at the social media and checking how things have performed. So we have the ad running for our papers um so i'm looking at the stats and the comments and the reactions in general so this is a gorgeous set that we have of the new papers and i've done a flick through of these so this is the rust and patina and we have some old maps as well and the grudge patina as well. If you're interested in that, I'm gonna link our Facebook page. So actually something really interesting, yesterday I was watching this lady on YouTube and she is doing like um, um, a stationery, like a lady like a lady boss, <laughs> like a girl boss stationery. And I thought it was utterly cute. So I've ordered it because I love supporting small businesses. I am gonna link her below um, just so that you can see uh what it is but i've all i've ordered i don't know if you can see this i've ordered the to do desk pad because they had the section that actually is really relevant to me which says uh what to purchase i think that's what it says it says what to purchase and that is so important to me because i'm always told by the girls you need to purchase envelopes you need to purchase packaging da, da, da. and that usually just I, I just forget um during the day so to have this on my to-do list section of what to purchase is perfect so she read my mind and then she had like a monthly desk calendar which is also awesome so that would be great for planning my social media so that's what i'm going to use from now on very excited so this is calling this is coming from uh kokonu tacha i'm really sorry if i'm mispronouncing this as i said i'm going to link her below and i'm going to link her channel if i can find it again uh, where i through which the, that channel i found her store but it's absolutely adorable and if she has more stuff i'm going to buy it as well hello everybody i am on my way to the office i took a different route thinking it's going to be less muddy what a big mistake even more muddy Ice are watering. I've got some kind of ice sensitivity at the moment, so I'm trying not to wear mascara. And my failed attempt on on in on eyeliner did not look good this morning. Um, I'm listening to a book actually, and stuff switch the camera on. Um, I'm going to be switching my hands because it's all a little bit sore. I'm listening to the book called Fix This Next. Um, and I'm going to link the book in the description box if you are a budding entrepreneur and trying to either get your business off the ground or this specific book's a book is actually for businesses that already exist and it's an advice for what to focus on on your list of priorities when it comes to business operations. I found the author, I think his name is Mike Mihalovich. I'm going to check. I'm sorry if I'm butchering this. But I found the author really relatable and his books are amazing. So highly recommended. And he's talking about the grind. The grind. And funnily enough, I've also watched the video this morning from oh what's his name it's a uh it's the guy who works for catnip um she designs cute little stickers and pins and she's got a very uh popular uh small business vlog she sells on etsy and the guy the gentleman who works for her has his own vlog as well and he documents the studio life and he was talking about 
what's important and about the um, burnout and anyway that inspired me really to switch the camera on and just say to anyone who is either running a business even just a small little Etsy business or a big business or Etsy, Shopify, whatever other business. So just going through a little bit of mud. You probably know how very, very hard it is to keep going sometimes and how little support we have as the business owners. And I'd like to clarify that this is absolutely not relating to support from our customers because my customers are absolutely amazing Craftbooks customers I became friends with so many so many of the customers check in with me ask if I'm okay react to any posts I might post on Facebook sometimes and really are a part of this journey of mine however as it is a good business practice I would be very unlikely and I never do share a serious business matters with anyone really because it's not the right thing to do one does not really I don't think anyone I've ever seen would have ever shared things like you know any tax issues or or VAT issues or um, HR issues or you know all of that is a confidential business matter but something that us entrepreneurs are dealing with on a daily basis and there's never really any respite from it there's never really any a minute off not having to think about it because it's so all-encompassing and we have to deal with it and we have to deal with it on our own and that leads me to that point before it leads me to the point look what I'm trying to get through and my shoes look at those yes I know I need to get myself a pair of wellies I tried and they didn't really they weren't a good size so I need to get another pair <laughs> right this should be a little bit more manageable here so that leads me to a point entrepreneurial burnout is a reality it happens to a vast majority of entrepreneurs otherwise the average lifespan of a limited company would not have been five years. I think it's actually less than that. I think an average, uh, I think 60% of limited companies fail within a year. 80% of limited companies fail or get dismantled within five years. I have to say, I am now at year five in fact the business started in november 2015 uh, and be became a limited company short after so we just we just on the five-year mark am i going to give up no do i think of giving up often Maybe not often, but I think of giving up sometimes. It requires a huge amount of resilience, perseverance, thick skin, and putting all your other problems aside. I've uh, watched an interview yesterday with someone, and it was one of the guys who's on Shark Tank. I think Shark Tank uh, in the US and a question to him was do you think such a thing as work-life balance exists and he said 
he does not he does not buy into it it doesn't exist when you're an entrepreneur you're sacrificing your personal life your everything really i don't know what else is this your health and so many other things that are not your business and you're sacrificing that so that hopefully down the line you are going to be able to reap the rewards of your hard work. Now, I'm sure my budding uh, craft entrepreneurs will know that a craft business is a potentially high revenue business, but a very low profit one. Because the outgoings for running a business, especially also if you are VAT registered, are huge. So, reaping the rewards, we will see about that. I'm not dressing in Prada as yet. In fact, my handbag collection is certainly smaller than it was when I was working my corporate highly paid job. And I'm not ashamed to say that I was working corporate highly paid job and I enjoyed it and I was good at it. Yet I chose the life of... Uh, constant worry about business it's a great journey it's a rewarding journey but it's a journey that has constant challenges thrown at you just like life but maybe a little bit more at times anyway I'm going to leave it there a few reflections on my way to work I'll catch up here with you when I'm in the office hello everybody I am in the new office. I should stop saying it's, I'm in the new office because, because it's the office now. I'm in the office! And guess who I have with me? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to flip. Oh, hello. Clary Clay is doing the best job in the world. Thank She's you. so excited about curling the dinkiest flowers in the world. Tiny flowers. <laughs> That's it for the catch up with the staff. I have, um, we're working on putting some more flowers on the website because we have loads. Um, we in fact have how many boxes did we count claire there's one here seven huge boxes of flowers um and they need to be put in packets and i've been photographing uh cute little hydrangea petals so i'm gonna insert a picture here so you can see they're very very pretty the working day is done the girls are gone I'm on my own, all by myself. We had a first, very first collection from the Royal Mail and it was a lady who was collecting it. So yeah, girl power. Uh, we, got, we are getting inspected straight away, which I said to Helen, we're going to get inspected. We're going to get inspected. So basically what it is, um, Royal Mail um, now and again will inspect your parcels to make sure the right, right postage is paid. Uh, we have automatic systems, so it's very hard for us to not pay the right postage, so that's a blessing. Um, but uh, it, whenever your uh, sales order is scanned, sales order basically shows how much money you put through the system. So whenever the sales order is um, is scanned, you get that that -da 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 -ding, um, kind of sound. And Helen and I look at each other and it's like, yeah, we're getting inspected. I knew we will because it's a first pickup from this location and it's a first pickup from uh, from this new depot because I think our post will go directly to Peterborough now, whilst before it was going to Huntingdon. So I prefer, personally prefer the post to go directly to Peterborough because we had historically had a lot of issues with the post going missing when it was being processed at Huntingdon. I don't want to say anything about, about anyone, just, you know, just a disclaimer here. This is just personal experience. We had very, very, very few issues with the post um, that was going directly to Peterborough. And the moment we moved to St. Ives, because that's where we were before, um, we had loads of issues. So now we're back with Peterborough Depot, I think um because we're very close to where i was running the business when i started um so hopefully it will all be good and uh and it will be a little bit better we don't have generally many issues which is great and we do have tracking on most of the parcels uh, but um 
yeah, it's good to be with that depot again. I hope things have not changed. So that's that, my dears. This is my day. And I'm just waiting to be picked up. I'm going to uh, go home and probably chill. We have restocked the Christmas section of the website today, by the way. I am going to link everything below. I need to remember when I edit this video to link um, the the planner website and the catnip website. And I just need to remember to link all of this. But yeah, we have restocked the Christmas section of the website. So the flowers that you all wanted to come back for, you all wanted them to come back. They're all back. Um, well, apart from the mulberry mulberry apart from the holly leaves actually and um, the flowers and poinsettias are back so grab them whilst in stock i don't have a huge amount of stock and that's it um so we have restocked them but there's a limited number of those and then where else got added oh yeah oh yeah snip out multiples so if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm just going to quickly show you what i mean so your snip out multiples are basically three packs of i've picked up three picked up four three packs of merry christmas or three packs of the snowflakes or three packs of this merry christmas or three packs of let it snow or three packs of shakers i have been asked if we're going to be doing shakers that, are, that we do every year these are sh the shakers from snip art i don't have any in stock at the moment and it's getting a bit late for them but we do have these in multiples of three and they are reduced as well because you're buying in multiples so we put a saving on them so I'm gonna link um I'm gonna link the Christmas the whole Christmas section down below so that you can check it out if you are interested in those. We I mean I have enough about 30 packs so that's but that's all I have and I do really I would really really like it to go um because we need some space on the shelves for some new stuff. So if you want it, take advantage, uh, get some savings on that. And obviously this is perfect for your Christmas cards. This is super light. This is chipboard. It's so light, you would not believe. So it's perfect on your card and scrapbooking pages. Right, my dears, have an absolutely amazing evening and or day or morning or midday, whatever, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you again tomorrow.